Well, it's 6.30 a.m. It's uh, time to start the vlog again for uh, Wednesday and into Thursday. So, because it's tw a 24-hour vlog and 24-hour day. And so we start where we end. And that's the way we work here. I've um, finished up uh, most of the vlogs. I'm now on a uh, random sort of drift. I finished up all. I finished up all of uh, Nelly Nose, and there doesn't seem to be anything, anything new around. So I'm going to check some of the side channels that I have. That's what I'm doing now. Uh, the suggestions in, in the sort of the algorithm is all kind of screwed up for uh, YouTube. They're not giving me any ha anything half to you. Just, they, what they're doing is they're popping up popular stuff amongst some things they think I might like, but not really. They do this every once in a while. They get they, they, the YouTube gets this uh, funny chunk where it's uh, into a funny funk where uh, its side recommends aren't so good. Uh, why it does this, I have no idea. This is only this new algorithm. Every once in a while, they change up the algorithm. But it never really seems to work. I mean, why not give the person what they want? Why force them into something they, they, they don't want? Doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, uh, on, a other system, on other systems that I, can, that I transport over to here, I do have other things that I watch. But I kind of like to segment where my things are. And so in this room here is more relaxing. Stroll around YouTube is not anything heavy or, or or specific. In other words, it's not necessarily study oriented. The the studying stuff, the the research, is a lot on the tablet. And what's lighting the room for the vlog is a LED monitor for uh, my research desk. That's another system I've hooked up there, so I, I can do research on there. I have another av a, num a number of avenues to bring in uh, research content uh, other than. Of the me the media screen. So probably now what I'll probably end up doing is I'm starting to get tired. I'll probably do another half hour. Uh, probably go off of uh, YouTube onto maybe Netflix or something like that and see what I'll do there. And anyway, see you in a couple hours. Well, we're back a little later than usual, but uh, nonetheless, we're back. And um, looking like this, I took a shower outside in the rain. That's a nice thing to do every once in a while. Uh, it's not, you just wear shorts, that's all. You <laughs> need to go outside, take a shower in the rain. And so I've got my hair drying in a t-shirt. I have t-shirts that uh, I put on, you can wear like a, like a, almost like a turban. Uh, and it dries the hair out nicely. Uh, I just got. I just finished watching uh, Clintus. Uh, you know, came uh, went by his place, uh, his channel. And before that, I was at Yaoi Vlogs. I found a good. Uh, they hadn't been vlogging for a while, but there's a vlog called The Good Bits, and they travel a lot. And the places they go to are very, very interesting. So you get. I get to sort of from my couch. I get to see uh, various different places depending on where the vlogs go. So in addition to the conversation, if you've got good scenery and, you know, get to see places that I really haven't seen before, that's a good thing as well. Whenever uh, ever, uh, ever the scientist, ever, ever the observer, uh, how we view things often indicates what we end up learning. So even if I'm sitting here watching, t watching vlogs or watching TV, there, there's still things to learn. Excuse me. I am catching up on my sleep so, slowly. I'll have a Friday again to continue on. Uh, my doors aren't open too much, so today's going to be a little bit of a, a hot day. Uh, because I can't have my cooling system open because there's, there's too much humidity. Too humid, humidity. So it's just relying on the air conditioner to pull out the humidity, to pull out the mo well, humidity is the, the water vapor, so. 
and uh, the, everything's all ready to go. Everything's functioning. The, uh, the, the, the back research desk here is now fully functional. Uh, I still have, in the front research desk, I still have some upgrades to do. that will probably take me another two, three weeks to get done. But we are moving towards uh, September where we get back into the saddle again and start riding off to new destinations uh, unknown uh, uh, in the er areas of knowledge. So that's where we are right now. I've changed my shirt because the other one was just too hot. Uh, anything that's tight on you keeps the body heat in. And so it's better to be loose than tight, particularly when it's hot. Uh, the place is starting to cool down. The humidity has dropped off enough. There's an, the rain has passed. And so did the humidity system. The, what happens is the weather behaves in a fashion that's not like they describe in meteorolo meteorology. Your weather person on the channel will talk about fronts and, and, and pressure waves and so on and so forth uh, as if they're talking about what we call a fluid. They use fluid dynamics. When you do the observational work for uh, atmospheric physics, what you begin to realize is that it's not a fluid system. It's actually a rigid body system. That means instead of talking about fronts in this you talk about entire systems the behavior of a system that's almost in many ways like a rigid body to understand this better go look at a cloud and take your understanding of of, of the states of matter solid liquid and gas solid is the only one that contains itself Li liquids and gases need to be contained they have to have a container in them in order to hold them in their particular place to un if you understand this the how a gas and a liquid behave you look up a cloud and ask yourself the question, what's containing the cloud? Then you begin to understand why the meteorology system breaks down. And so what happens is we are, the, human, the, the human air, the system of human air, has now gone off in other directions. But at the same time, it's, it, you, you have not only a moving in the system, in terms of the system moving away or over your, your particular area, but now you have also a, 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 a second thermodynamic property that when it rains, the, the, the humidity comes out because the, it, it, it's the, 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 the precipitation is the, the humidity, the water vapor uh, dropping out of the sky in a form of precipitation as either pressure drops or temperature drops. And because they either or, because typically they're always together, when the pressure drops, the temperature drops. When the temperature drops, the pressure drops. These things, these two, these things are typically in it, 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 together. Although, because you're dealing with a rigid body system, not always. Sometimes you could have a higher density cold system than you do uh, with a uh, uh, with a with a, a a a lower density warm system. And that way, the the, the higher density produces a higher pressure in terms of the force it exerts on the surrounding environment. This is the physics. So this is the nerd stuff. This is what makes me a nerd. Uh, and I, I live by this. I, this is not something that I just do out of textbook. This is something I live by. So the uh, vlog just went up. The, the, the Wednesday vlog just went up. The, uh, for the July 15th uh, has gone up. And I just finished watching uh, oh the Ohana Adventure, and before I can't remember when I was where I was. Well, I think it was uh, the Family Five Vlogs was before that. Basically, I, I'm off my main sketch, my main, my main YouTube uh, uh, path, and now I'm all over at uh, Good Bits. I want to have something to eat, do some cleaning in the kitchen, and uh, before I begin the rest of the different. Uh, things I have to do or we have to do during the day. It looks like the upgrades are going along okay But some of the upgrade grades won't be finished and complete until sometime in October, so 
there is a bit of time to hold off because, well, the, uh, there's always delays with delivery. So, that's the way things go. Well, it's just about 3 o'clock in the morning and we're heading towards the finish around 4, 4.30. The way we usually do before we restart things to get around around 5, 6. I had an amazing, or sorry, we had an amazing lunch. Uh, nice, uh, we'll call it Pan-Asian burger. It's uh, a, basically a, a beef, a beef uh, sausage mix, if you want to call it that one. If we want to use that phrasing, and there we go again, picking it, picking up my eyes. <laughs> and I just finished watching the good bits. I had, in terms of a drink, I had. Um, I always use this uh, uh, metal tumbler. It's a. It's actually a, a, the carafe that they use for making shakes in. I use a blender. And what I do is I have uh, dehydrated fruit like uh, goji berries, um, Logan berries, uh, um, and dates. And I put them in a uh, grinder and grind it up into a powder and make my own sort of powdered drink with it. And it comes out very, very nice, it, 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 but it also has a lot of nutrients in it. So it's basically a meal in a glass. And because it's got the uh, it's got um, cold brew tea that I make myself, I'll eventually show you the process for that. It's got uh, whole milk in there. We have a good type in Canada uh, called uh, Pure Filter, or there's long lines of organic, which it's not it's not as pasteurized as it is compared to the regular pasteurized milk. And it seems to be a lot better in terms of the stability. Uh, I know a lot of people, when they have regular milk, they have a lot of uh, what we call lactose issues. My particular perspective in terms of the chemistry is the longer you pasteurize your milk, you, not only are you, well, you get rid of some of your germs. Not all of them, mind you. You get rid of some of them. But you create a new problem and this is you begin to change the proton the the proteins within the milk become a it, it get into a form that is non digestible there are proteins that we cannot digest or don't have the en enzymes to digest this i think is at the core of the lactose problem it, it is a it is a pasteurization problem not specifically a lactose problem because uh, I know people, when they have lactose-free milk, they still have the problem. So this lends, lends and where you do have your, your, your well, indigestible problem, and this typically surrounds proteins. And it's hard for the body to break down some of these proteins, including the uh, peanut protein. So this is, seems to be the core of... Uh, of the milk issue, but and so where you find where you have the organic or you have the uh, pure filter uh, that you don't have that uh, uh, that problem anymore, particularly if you're having homogenized milk. And in terms of the issue of weight or anything like that, then just exercise more. You know, go out, take a walk. You know, go for a swim, a bike ride, anything along those lines. Anyways. It is time to end the vlogs for the 15th, end the vlog for the 15th. Again, it's a 24-hour day, so it's hard to remember when you start or when you stop. But we're around this time, around, well, we're at quarter to five, uh, and we won't start the vlog again until seven, six, seven o'clock in the morning uh, after we do some gaming and come back and watch some more of, of, our, of the vlogs of YouTube TV. There's enough episodes around, enough families vlogging, different different 
aspects of the family. I'll give an example of you have of the older people, the uh, the parents. They'll have brothers and sisters who also vlog. So while one family doesn't get everything, if you go around to the families that, that do vlog, you'll get enough of what's going on so you can sort of put together a, a good experience. And then th this is what vlogging is about. Vlogging is the conversation. Vlogging is the experience. And the more you're comfortable with it, the, the, you know, the more you see it, the more the more it's better than uh, what we'll call it, say, scripted shows, your sitcoms, your, your your dramas, and so on and so forth. But it's also better than reality TV because reality TV again is not always real. It's always scripted. There's always you know, uh, we missed that. Let's go back and shoot that again. But you can see where 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 families are are filming in the moment. They're not rescripting it. They're not. They don't necessarily have a B-roll where they go back and film things. These are better vlogs. These are the better forms of entertainment. And this is what we're aiming for here. We're aiming for, well, an unusual life. I mean, how do you, how do you film yourself studying almost all day long? This is, this is what uh, teens have a problem with. It's just, you know, the tweens and the vloggers my age, you spend most of your time doing schoolwork. And when you're out with your friends, you're not necessarily thinking, hey, let's vlog. So what happens, you see that the vlogs are on um, the tween sites are significantly more lacking. Uh, although there are some very good teen, uh, tween vloggers. I've seen some very good tween vloggers out there. But it is complicated because uh, what are you doing all day long? Same thing here, but it says sometimes things go well, sometimes things don't go okay. Today has been a sort of in-between day. Not good, but not bad. But at the end of the day, is no matter what you no matter what you think you're worth, no refunds. It is what it is, and I know tomorrow, whatever happens, however I feel at the end of the day, day today, uh, I'm gonna continue on tomorrow. So that's where I have the, the catchphrase: no refunds.